The Nightingales of Terbole Youth Choir was founded in 1928 in the coal mining town of Terbole in Slovenia by teacher August Šuligoj. Most of the children came from poor mining families. They had no prior music education, but under Šuligoj's leadership the choir quickly gained attention locally, nationally and internationally. Involvement in the choir gave the children the chance to travel across Europe, discovering new places and people. They sang to sold-out concert halls and received rave reviews. Important composers of the day wrote songs for them. Within five years, the choir had performed in towns across Slovenia, Croatia and Serbia. In 1933, they toured Czechoslovakia and Austria, including a performance at the Vienna House of Music. In April 1936, the choir took part in the first International Congress for Modern Music Education in Prague, alongside groups from 13 countries. The event was attended by representatives from the League of Nations and worldwide observers. The Nightingales were awarded the best choir, defeating the famous Vienna Boys Choir. In 1938, the Nightingales of Terbovi performed a special concert at the studio of Radio Ljubljana. The concert was broadcast live by the American Columbian Broadcasting System to over 3 million students at schools in the USA. Before the concert, the famous journalist William Shire gave an introductory speech about Yugoslavia, introducing the country for the first time to young Americans. The choir planned a tour to the U.S. for autumn 1939, but it was called off when the war began. When U.S. President Bill Clinton visited Slovenia in 1999, he was given a recording of the 1938 radio broadcast by Slovenian President Janez Drnošek. The Second World War disturbed the choir's activity. The conductor August Šuliko was deported to Serbia with his wife. Some of the children joined the Slovenian partisans, the anti-Nazi resistance movement. After the war, they were unsuccessful attempting to reunite under Šuligoj's leadership. Eventually, a new choir was formed called Slaushi, which still exists today.